As many of you know, I have a page on the website that outlines how each plague will eventually hit this planet in the very near future. But for the sake of keeping the video short, and since I already did a video about the seven plagues anyway, I'm only going to share with you plagues number two and three because, as we also know, the Lord's already set the stage for all seven plagues to go global anyway. But for some reason, many think plague number two and three are a bit far-fetched and impossible to be fulfilled. But if you check out the videos and the pictures I have linked out regarding these two plagues on my site, or if you're actually watching this video instead of just reading the blog, uh, you could see that we already are seeing blood red water on the planet. Uh, it's because it says in Revelation 16 verses 3 and 4 that the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. Now, no, the plagues have not yet begun, as certain other prophecies have yet to be fulfilled. And that, of course, includes the very first plague regarding the boils that are going to show up on everyone that disobeys the Lord. But all that's needed for the Lord to allow these plagues to fall globally, well, that's already set in stone. It's a done deal. What's prophesied to happen next is going to happen, and it's going to happen very rapidly. You know, this is why we are now seeing blood-red waters, and the ocean has already shown itself to appear as the blood of a dead man, which we all know, you know the blood of a dead man is actually black. And everyone knows about how everything is dying in the oceans all over the world, just as the prophet Hosea predicted. Even the media can't hide it anymore. The Lord is warning his people. It's time to repent and make their paths straight for the coming of the Lord. And so the question in most minds would have to be now is, how do you prevent the plagues from falling upon you and your family? You know, because the truth is, Christians are going to die during these plagues because most Christians today only claim Christ Lord to take away their shame because even they know they are not ready for his return. They know what the Bible says, but they haven't even tried to prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight, as it was declared 2,000 years ago to those that did study their Bibles when he came the first time back then. After describing in some detail the fruit of every apostate church today, notice what it says in Revelation 18.4. It says, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. He calls them my people because they know him and his word. As prophesied, he always warns his church first. And to further lock down this final message, Paul warned those that believe Jesus is Lord in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, that they must be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye should be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. But look around. And you will see that most Christians stay in apostate churches anyway, thinking if they just claim Christ Lord, they're safe. When he plainly said you have to separate from those fallen churches or you will receive the plagues. For if you stay in apostasy, you will become filthy from touching the unclean things that he exposes in those apostate churches. And the plagues will fall upon you. There's no getting around that. And so why is the Lord concentrating on warning Christians to get out of those churches? First Peter chapter 4, verse 17 says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Like I said a moment ago, he's always going to warn his people first. Well, he's also always going to judge them first too. And then it goes on to say then, you know, speaking of judgment, it says, And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Judgment starts with the Christian church because they were the ones called to walk with Christ and help others to do the same, as well as warn all the people of the world to repent and prepare for the coming of the Lord. Ignoring the Lord's warning to come out of her, my people, and stay in apostasy means judgment will fall on you. 
For if you stay in, you will be forever lost the split second the plagues begin. For when they begin, it is then that the prophecy found in Revelation 22, 11 is declared and fulfilled. It is then that he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. But notice what it also says. For those that do leave those churches, it says, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. In other words, if you're in an apostate church, when the plagues start, which we can see by the signs that prophecy is about to fulfill globally very soon when it comes to these plagues, you will then, if you stay in those churches, be declared unjust, filthy, and forever lost. But if you obey the Lord that calls you, my people, and you leave the fallen churches, then you will be declared forever righteous, holy, and worthy of eternal life when those plagues begin. Thank you for watching. God bless.